Hey, this is Spencer Clark with Naked Bay Company, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I rig my Sweet Beaver. Um, you know, I've had a lot of success with the Sweet Beaver over the past couple of years, and uh, it's a lot of me cash a couple of checks. So uh, today I'm going to show you how I go about rigging it. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, bullet weight. Uh, this is just one of these uh, Naked Bay Company skirt weights. You can put a skirt on if you like, but uh, today I'm just going to show you how to do the. Uh, the old Texas rig. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my weight up my line and the next thing I'm going to do is uh, just going to tie on my hook. Um, Naked Bait Company came out with uh, a brand new hook this year. It's the uh, it's the new honey hole hook and uh, what's different about this hook is it's got a, a nice little screw on it there that's going to really help keep your plastic uh, in position when you're fishing and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this hook straight on that new keeper though it's going to keep your bait perfectly straight on the line and uh, not going to go through as many baits uh, especially if you're flipping uh, heavy vegetation it can be really hard on your plastics uh, you might have to constantly you know keep adjusting your plastics but this hook's going to really do a good job with that. So after I get my weight and my hook on there, the next thing I like to do is um, I like to peg my weight. And what I'll do for that is I'll take one of these uh, Naked Bait Company uh, smart pegs and uh, just shove it right into the right into the base of the uh, weight there. Just keep pushing it up into there until it gets nice and snug. And I'll just cut the excess off. And what that's going to do is when I put my bait on there, it's going to keep everything real compact. Um, so I'll allow me to put my bait in little small holes in the grass and uh, skip it up under docks and all kinds of stuff. So after I got that on, the next thing to do is I'm just going to put my uh, my little beaver right up on the screw there. Um, the bait just goes easily up on that screw. All you got to do is give it a couple of twists. Just like that. And then you just take the hook point, stick it right back through the plastic to keep it weedless. And I got that all there and I'll just slide my weight on down. Right there I've got the perfect little setup for punching grass mats and uh, flipping shallow wood. And, um, that little hook on there is really something else. As you can see, I can keep that plastic perfectly straight. <coughs> and it's not going anywhere until that fish bites it. <coughs> it was real easy to put that bait up on that screw, but you can see it's really hard to get it off. Like I'm pulling pretty hard here. It's not moving. You're going to save a lot of money on your plastics if you like to flip as much as I do. And for you swim bait guys out there, you guys that like to uh, fish a swim bait, um, this new honey old hook is really something else for doing that too. You know, there's a lot of hooks out there right now that have the uh, that screw system on it. But uh, the problem with it is they don't have it right into the hook like this Naked Bait Company honey old hook does. As you can see, it's just right on the shaft of the hook. And so the biggest thing with swim baits is making sure that your bait's always straight on the hook there. And uh, that's what this does to so get the best action out of your baits. So just take this hook right here, you just screw it into this, this little swim bait I got. It goes right up on the hook, real nice and easy like that. Then you just gotta take it and put it straight back on through. And as you can see, that swim bait, I can get that hook straight. 
and you can see that swim bait right there is perfectly straight on the hook and uh, well, what that's going to do is going to give you the best action out of your bait it's always going to track true and uh, it's going to put a couple more fish in the boat um, so if you're looking for a new hook uh, for flipping this year or uh, throwing swim baits, throwing your flukes anything, uh, you need to check out these new honey hole hooks I'm sure you're going to like them